Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Maximilian and I'm playing Immersive Engineering. Hello and welcome to Build 101. No, I ain't joking. I'm not going to be building today but I just thought I'd show you where I've got to so far. So I've now uh, finally laid out an area which I want to use. So I'm happy with that laid <laughs> loads of wool, don't know what I want to use that for but uh, it's great for marking out areas um, a lot easier to pick up so yes it's starting to come along same with my build over there so uh, again we'll see that later on in the uh, series um, to what that's going to be for so yeah it's starting to come along now there is uh, lots of things that I want to be doing but uh, I thought I would just continue on what we did on last episode. So remember last episode we went over oh new update for this one and let's go outside. Yes. So we went over to the village there and we found some blueprints. Well we're gonna use those blueprints. Um might as well do might as well get ourselves started up with there. So let me just find the blueprints if I can. Hello Hello. Aha. So we've got the engineer's special projectiles. Dragon's breath cartridge. And then we've also got the arc furnace, but we haven't got the arc furnace up and running yet. There is another engineer's blueprint and we can make this one. And this is our main cartridge. So you can see what we're going to be doing this uh, episode is we're going to be making some weapons. Immersive Engineering has them all, so let's uh, start using some of the weapons. So what we're going to do today is we're going to make the revolver. But first things first, let's make this. We need three paper. I think I had some paper in here first. Oh, I've got some in here. No, see so you've got some more wool there, look. Uh, paper, so let's just get three of those. So we need three paper. We also need three lapis two gunpowder so let's just change one of these so three lapis two gunpowder one copper and uh, we should be able to do that that and there's the third one so yeah let's get rid of that and the blueprint was up here wasn't it so the engineer's blueprint so we'll do them right so how are we going to use these well we need to make the uh, you see if I can find it on here might not be here aha engineers workbench that's what we're going to do so we need a crafting table three treated wood planks and one fence so as every professional minecrafter has it already there he says right so we're going to make our bench and we shall plonk it down it's like it's getting dark now. Down there. So let's have a quick sleep. I don't want spiders and creepers and all those sort of things, nasty things running around. So, right. Let's do this then. So, how does this work? Well, we can put our blueprints in here and it helps us create any of our armor. Alright, so. Uh, in here is the common projectile, so if I just hold shift down so we can do the casual cartridge, the armor piercing, silver cartridge, buckshot, a high explosive. And it tells us exactly what we need to make each of those. So the casual say yeah casual cartridge is one empty casing, one gunpowder, two lead nuggets. Now the beauty about this is now to make a cartridge is let me just find a blank cartridge where's the recipe I should retype it in I know I should right there empty casing one of these is five of those will make five now we can also use the metal press with a casing and we use one ingot for two so it's a lot 
cheaper than uh, than what we need it for. So if we just get the original five, and then I'm just going to get another um, eight. So let's get the first five. I'm going to need one of them to make this. So we just need some steel plates. So let's get four of those. We're going to need some more steel soon. But we're getting plenty of blocks of coal though. It's feeding in nicely. So, uh, press plates. Let's go. Right, so shove them in there. So, yeah, let me just sh show you. It is, it is working well. The uh, should it horsey. We are getting a nice mountain you can see just there a little bit of brown patch you can see that's there but we've got 7,000 at the moment and we can use creosote for other things so which is good right don't need that so we should be okay right so we should have ooh, running around everywhere at the moment so we should have the steel so I can now do one of these so now we've got the steel press and now, if I just take that off and put that on, I should be able to now. This should make us 16. It should, he says. Right, I'll leave that working away. Right. <coughs> so we've got our cartridges, and we can swap them over. And this is our special ones as well. So we've got empty shells. So we should be able to make shells as well so empty shell shell where is the shell buckshot dragon's breath must be an empty shell one empty shell gum shot Ooh. where's the shells aha empty shell so that's how we make the empty shells. Yes, and there's no other recipe for that, so that's all we're going to be able to have for those. But at least we can actually make the uh, cartridges a lot simpler. Because all of these, empty casing, empty casing, empty casing, it's only the buckshot that needs an empty shell. Which is not a problem, so we can make some of these. So we're going to need some more paper, so if I do, well, if they do, they should be 12, and I'm going to need 3, so that should be 15, yes. So what else do I need? Rose red. Do I have any rose red? I do. And I'm going to need... Three, I'm going to need six of those. Happy with that. And we're going to need three gold. One, two, three gold and copper. So that's with that, and then that, like so. And that's us 15 of those. Sweet. And that's what I like about it as well. Look. It tells me we've got my first on there. Right, it's got me a blueprint off there. Right. So. So right, making these shells, and we'll make the shells in a minute, but we also need something to fire it with. So this is what we're going to use. We're going to use the, the revolver. So there's fair things we need, fair few things we need to do. So again, I am all prepared. So these first two, I believe, is for the actual grips. We're going to need two of these. So that's the two there. These should then be for the actual revolver. So we're going to need that with them in the corner, that there, and then these on the outside. Or do these go here? Aha! The revolver drum. We're going to need the revolver hammer. And we're also going to need the revolver barrel. So the three is the barrel, so it's a revolver barrel, and I believe the five is like that for the revolver hammer. And then we need just two iron ingots 
and this should make us our gun. Oh, let's have a look. Cool. So right clicking, there's nothing in there. Right. Now the beauty about these is that we can also put weapons in there as well. Now these two are here for extra bits so we can actually do a revolver, I can make a revolver speed loader which I put in the to the inventory but with the revolver we can also make I believe let's have a look increases that damage no mining drill that's the mining drill oh no so melee attack so we can do use this which is a little bit better than a than the iron sword so we can attach a bayonet to it so let's make a bayonet so two steel one iron sword so I'm going to need a stick two pieces of iron uh, two of you and one of you so let's just do the sword first because I don't think it will let me use that one, I'll try it first but I don't think it will, I think it needs to be a new one yeah. it needs to be a new one, so the bayonet so now I can stick the bayonet on it and if you look at the picture you can see the bayonet underneath now just there, so I'll take that off the bayonet is gone how cool is that? Now, you'll see this end one here. Now, when you kill certain mobs, you get what you call these, which is the shaders. And this is what changes the colour of the weapon itself. So if we went and killed the wither skeleton, so the um, the wither, we would get one. We, we could get one killing the dragon, we're going to get one killing... Um, oh, what's the... Uh, I think of it now. I'll come to me. They'll come to me. So yeah, we can pick these up, and we can pick them up into uh, caves and things like that as well. So that is that. Uh, another one we can use is the extended cartridge. So the and we've got this one here, amplified electric tube. So the revolver. So shots inflict shock damage. Um, as for the chemical thrower, we can do the chemical thrower as well, but I'm running out of steel and iron, so I'm going to need to be a little bit careful, but I will make these up. Um, so, to make these, I just need one. Let's have the extended, and also we'll make that as well, so we're going to need another two of these. So, yeah, just have to be very careful. In fact, one of remember I shall swap these over, the last thing I want to do is turn things into casings so let's just shove this up there the specialised ones we'll uh, look at that in a bit but we'll it's the main cartridges so far so that is I'm going to need four of you so that, 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 that should be for speed loader and the other one is the extended magazine or should we go for the shock decisions to de decisions mm, just them three there so you can pick what you want right we're going to go for the extended so we're going to need four five four and we've got the one so that should be enough so that there, that there, and that there. Yes, extended magazine. Right, because at the moment, let's just click onto here. If I take the gun out now and shift and right click, you'll see that we can hold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. However, with the extended, so let's put that onto there, and then that. So, you can, so again, you can see it is there. It actually goes into the into the actual desk. You can just see it go into the desk. Right. So when I take this out, you can see it sticks off to the uh, right. But now, shift and right click. We've got the nozzle eight, and then we've got the six. Now the revolver uh, speed loader. 
works similar so you can see shift and right click with the revolver speed loader you can load that onto there and that will speed load but it only speed loads these these eight doesn't do these six so just be aware of that so we've got our weapons let's have a look at making some cartridge so I don't know what the casual does let's have a look see if we can actually uh, tools we've got the revolver cartridges so the casual arc <coughs> casual cartridges are created with a common projectiles blueprint they are simple lead projectile inflicting medium damage so that could be useful so we'll look at that We've got the armor piercing cartridges are created with the same blueprint. They do the same amount of damage but penetrate armor by sheer kinetic force. Cool. Buckshot created with the aforementioned blueprint are filled with multiple small projectiles that are filled out in a cone shape. This cartridge is highly effective at short range. Hmm. High explosive cartridges are created with a common projectiles blueprint. They fire a projectile that explodes on impact, causing damage to living creatures and terrain. Interesting. Silver cartridges consist of a lead core wrapped in silver, making them highly effective against undead. And then we go on to the specialised ones. We've got the Dragon's Breath. Dragon's Breath are created with a specialised projectiles blueprint similar to Buckshot. They are effective at short range, but instead of small metal shots, they are filled with a flammable metal dust, creating a blast of flame. We've got files. So now we're going to go, not only can we inflict damage to people, we can also do other things. So if I had a, another person with me on this server, or on this uh, in this game, then I could actually use it to actually heal. So they can be filled with any potion by crafting them together in a crafting grid and this potion will then be applied on impact. Normal positions require a direct tick, splash potions have an effect of an area and lingering potions will create a temporary lingering cloud. So you can use it for um, obviously bad potions like your uh, um, cat poison, all those sort of things. And then I can also do regen, regen and all of that as well, which is good. Then we've got flares, are created with a specialised blueprint, when fired the flare explodes after a certain distance and then slowly sinks to the ground. You can combine the cartridge with dyes in a crafting table to change its colour. Nice. Nice. So we might even have, to have a look at that. Might even have a look at that. Quite fancy uh, making uh, things all nice pretty colours. So that's the flare cartridge. So cactus green, dandelion yellow, and rose red. So that must be the three colours that we can use then. I believe it's getting dark. So let's see if we can get some uh, cartridges built up. So these casual ones, we need an empty casing, which is what we've got. Uh, we'll make ten of these. We want some gunpowder. Let's see how much gunpowder we've got. Oh, we've got plenty. And we're also going to need some lead nuggets. So, I knew there's something we could use the lead for. So, let's do that. Do that. Ha ha ha. So, them, them. And we should be able to get 10 of these. So, that's our 10. <laughs> Come on, then, revolver. So, shift, remember that. So, we're going to do one, two, three. Let's do that. Right. Let's do them as every three. Yeah, haha. <laughs> I think that is the order. So I think it goes from there, round, and then to there, and then round. If I remember rightly, he says, right, that's them. Uh, oh, but have the uh, revolver in there. So we can have the armor piercing, and then with that one we need gunpowder casing, steel nuggets this time, and constantine nuggets. Mm. The silver cartridge would be pretty good because we can use a little bit of silver. I don't have massive amounts, but it would be uh, good to have. So let's uh, do five of those. That, that, and that. 
Uh, we're going to need some more lead. Let's get some more lead. Oh, let's see if there's any mobs about so we can see how effective they are. So let's do the silver ones. And see, we can leave these in there actually. High explosive and buckshot, gunpowder, and iron grit. Iron grit, I believe. Believe iron grit is we've got to pulverize it. Uh, let's have a look. Nicole. Iron grit. Yeah, so I've got to have pulverized, which I do have some actually over there. But let's just. Ooh. There you go. Let's just use one. At least you get the casings back. That is the beauty thing about it. We do actually get the casings back. So let's put these into there. I can make another three. What am I missing? What am I missing? Aha. Two. Let's put them in there, and you can shift click them in, which is good. Um, flares, though, we want some flares, don't we? Have I got any cactus? Don't think I've got cactus. But we do have dandelion. So let's make five of those. Let's make some dandelion ones. Um, see, all over the box, all excited. That's what it's all about. Getting all excited. Right, lead. I knew there was some. Knew there was some I needed. That should be more than enough. Let's get that in there. Right. So, silver ones, or should we go for the casual? Let's go for some silver. Excellent. Let's put them into there. Let's put them into there. Let's put these three over here. Right, so that's them. I also want some flares. That's what I want. So let's get these out then. Well, let me change over otherwise. So gunpowder, aluminium grit. Uh, aluminium grit. I don't have any aluminium grit on me. But let's see how good this gun is. Let's go out. Let's go. Let's see if we can go mob hunting. Hello. Don't really want spiders. It's not spiders I'm really kind of like want. Thank you, Mr. Spider. Nor are you, Mr. Zombie. I want to see how good they are against creepers. That is what I want. Nope. Where's Mr. Creeper? Hello, Mr. Creeper. Any creepers about? See, didn't wait long enough. But the creepers should still be about. Should still be able to see Mr. Creeper. Hello? Hello? Would you like to see my new friend? Mr. Spider will. But I don't want to waste it on a spider. I want to waste it on a creeper. Hello? Mr. Creeper? Let's have a look. See if we can find a. Oh, there's one. Yes. Cool. Two shots. Happy with that. It's not quite working how I thought it was going to work. Right. That must have been the silver one. That must have been the silver one. One shot with the silver. Oh, yes. Right. That is fun dabby dozy. Do you like that? I really do 
like the gun. It would be interesting to see how it does fare with the likes of the Wither. Perhaps not the Dragon, but the Wither it might. Depends how uh, far away it is. But I do like the revolver. Can't be the bow, because the bow is, is uh, a good distance. We can a uh, bit of distance on there. Let's get rid of that, let's get rid of that, and that. Right, let's have a look at the actual flares themselves. So we're going to use dandelion, so we need to use some grit. So I think I do have some grit over here. Let's have a look. Aluminium grit, silver, silver. Not much, for some reason. Um, yeah, this isn't going to make a lot, is it? Might have to go and get some and uh, send it over here. Let's do, let's have a look. How many does it need? It needs one. And I want to do five. I've got. So really, I only need three. So let's get that all done. So let's uh, chuck that in there to get some aluminium grit. We said we could use the... Um, so the buckshot will use... Yes. Shot. Let's have another five. So that's that. That's that five. Let's do six. So we can have a a few of these. And I don't want to waste all of these. Be interesting to see how does the speed loader work. <coughs> I need to work that out actually. So let's put that and them there. Let's put them there. Strange. So what if he does that, 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 and then round? Hmm. Let's have a look at the book. Book is always good. So speed loader. Does it have the speed load there? Hello? No, I don't suppose it does really. The revolver. Let's have a look at the revolver itself. Revolver, more elegant weapon, more for civilized ages and achieving small mechanics. Small beam relatively here, since this weapon is chambered for 12 gauge, similar to the mini drill. The revolver will allow modifications to the engineer's workbench, as detailed in the last pages. There are different types of animation. The revolver will accept to load it right, so sneak and right click, which is done. Weapon then will place cartridges onto the slots. A loading, uh, a loaded speed loader in your inventory will you will be used to refill the revolver after you've fired your last shot. Ah, cool. I need to know we've got that, so that we can actually use that as a sword. So I should be able to. Use it as a sword. Hmm. And waste cartridges. Yes. Right. Let's do the a book shot first. That's great. Them. Gunpowder. Job done. Why has it only let us do three? Don't tell me I'm getting rid of gunpowder. I haven't got any more. No, no. Ooh. So the flares, gunpowder. See, creepers. Gonna need some creepers. Let's just do two and two. And I should. Dandelion eel, aluminium grit. Empty shells. Strange. Dragon's breath. Ah, uh, but we do that. I 
Let's shove all of these empty casings because we can't do anything with them. Empty. Got some book shots. Got them. Let's put them into there like so. Ha ha. So, let's have a look at the time. And I believe the time is just about. But what I am going to do is let me just get rid of all of these and I'm going to put one flare in as so I'm going to fire it and just see what it looks like. Ready? So here we go. There it goes. Ah. And it should slowly fall whoop, to the ground. And I believe we keep the empty case. And again, that'd be great if you've got uh, teams, so you can have three teams. One yellow team, blue team. Uh, no, red and green, you want it, the other two. Red and green, was it red and green? Yeah, red and green. So you could have three teams there, but that's good. Happy with that. So, let's do a little bit of speed loading. And let's get some of these into there. Uh, let's put some a book shot. I think can go into there, and we shall have one, two, three. Get them into there. Get that into there. Remember to shoot. Cool. Absolutely brilliant. So I have now got a revolver. I will be interested to see what it's like as a um, sword of sorts. But it is supposed to be pretty good, so let's use a victim, shall we? Hello, fine sir. Hello. So damage-wise, yeah, I think it's not running. Oh, nearly to hit where. So I had half a heart left. Whereas this is two. So yes. Thank you, fine says. Thank you for my little experiments. So we have now got a weapon. Not just any weapon. We have got who? Engineer toolbox. <laughs> we have got my gun. Get it out of it. It sits there and use. So I have got my gun. Thank you. Woo. Right. So I think that is the end of the episode. So now we've got a gun, folks. I can go around shooting things. But not you, sir. And uh, good. So, yes, there is lots of other weapons and lots of other tools that we can start to look at. But we will look at that in the next episode. So. Without further ado, and I would like to say thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye bye for now.